Um, all right, so an ISA, so for the ISA, we're, I'm just gonna repeat this since we're recording it now, the duties, the task, and the text. I mean the tech, I'm sorry, not test. Um, and ISA's main job is to generate, qualify, and follow up with leads. This can be leads from a phone list. This can be leads from your database. This is, I don't want you just to think of a lead as an internet lead. A lead is somebody who messages you on Facebook. That's a lead. A lead is someone who you have a referral that's coming in and they're moving from California and your friend referred them. That's a lead, okay? I want you to understand everyone that you work with starts off as a lead, period. Every single person, even if you work with your mama, your mama's a lead, okay? <laughs> so just understand that part. All right, the task and duties of ISAs. One, outbound calls. So they can call from cold call lists. They can do, if you have a listing, they can do around the listing. They can call um, previously interested buyers. Um, or people who have bought from you before. So they can do outbound calls for that. They can cold call farm areas. Those of you guys who are doing farming, you're sending out your EDDMs and you're sending out your uh, cards and putting your door, um, what are those things called? Your door hangers out there. You're, you still should be calling those people. Just putting the door hangers doesn't count. Just sending postcards is not going to get it there. That's a five-year plan if that's the only thing you're doing, okay? So let's cut this down. They also, another one of their tasks and duties, your incoming opportunities, your online leads, any sign calls, any mailers that you might, so those ones that you did send out, the people who call, who call on those phone numbers, any magazines, some of you guys are doing magazines, so people who contact you off of the magazines, old clients, your past clients calling to check in with them to see if there's anything that you can do to uh, help them, any sort of advertisements that you do that makes the phone ring should be diverted over to your ISA, okay? When you have this person, I'm just going to tell you right now, you have to keep up with um, when they make a mistake. I tell every single person that comes on board with me, you're all going to cost me money at some point. Ask them. Every single staff member, an ISA is your staff member. They are going to lose a deal for you. They are going to cost you money. This is the cost of business. Put on your CEO hat. Understand that if they drop the ball or they messed up something, that means that you didn't properly train them on it, right? You own it when something like that happens that goes into your training for them. So you want to keep training them constantly. All right. They also do another one of their tasks is appointment setting. Scheduling appointments to meet in person over the phone or via Zoom, they set those up for you. They manage your appointments for your meetings with any of your possible clients. One of the things that I like is that they can call to verify within one hour of my scheduled meeting, they call to verify that that's still a good time, right? So I'm not wasting my time. It might be longer if you're physically driving somewhere, um, especially if you're in Miami, Atlanta, well, heck, even Maryland and DC, so any of our markets, traffic can be a nightmare depending upon where you're going. So you want to make sure they're calling at least an hour before you're heading out the door type of scenario, okay? So it might be two hours or something of that nature. Um, and they always verify that times, and that's them reminding them of those appointments. They do your lead generation and your nurturing, all right? They email your clients to connect with them. So it's not just over the phone, all right? So they email your clients or whatever it is you're having them call on or, or do for you in order to connect with them. They text your clients to connect. And also texting is a great way of nurturing, all right? So they also text them. If you have a YouTube channel, or those of you guys who've been working on videos, work on those videos that coincide with what your ISA is doing. So if I am setting a buyer's consultation, let's say they set a buyer's consultation with me, then I'm going to already have a video in YouTube that my ISA just attaches to that text message and they send it off to them. That's giving them some face-to-face -face things right there, right? It's taking away um, the not knowing 
no like and trust right? You show your personality. It all comes through. Nakia does really, really great with her videos. Those videos, Nakia, will get attached to the ISA that gets sent off, okay? So don't be afraid to shoot your videos. Shoot them. Um, use Big VU because it has a teleprompter app that's in there. So I really like that one if you're shooting them on your own. If you have an iPhone 13, then make sure you're using it in cinematic mode or get you a GoPro and shoot your videos, okay? Love my GoPro. Okay, so um, so they'll text your clients to nurture them. Uh, they also, on their lead generation and nurturing, they uh, use, use them to correct your campaigns. So I like to do the A-B testing. I always love A-B testing new things that we have and starting off slow and smaller with that. And then we grow it once we figure it out. Your ISAs can be used to test these. So they're sending out, campaigns to one group, another campaign to another group for you. Let's see which one responds the most, all right? That's how you're gonna A-B test things. They help to create your emails and your text campaigns. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Employ them. A lot of them have worked with other uh, real estate agents and all of that, so please make sure you're working with them and saying, what have you found? You never know until you ask the question. What have you found? I asked our question just yesterday. We asked that question and like a whole email came through of like scripts <laughs> that they enjoyed using. And it was like, all you had to do was ask the question. That was fantastic, okay? Um, another task they can do is when client information is incomplete, they can go get that for you. So think of them not solely just on the initial inbound stuff. There's stuff that you have that might be missing. It's a phone call. They make all of those phone calls, okay? They also, another one of their duties, and I've got two more bullet points we're going under here, is they manage your CRM. So whatever CRM it is that you're using, we know that we use a lot of Commission Zinc, and Commission Zinc is a very large platform. It's very large. You can go down a rabbit hole in, a, in attempting to learn and understand Commission Zinc. Um, let them do that <laughs> for you because uh, that's their world that they live in. Let them do that for you. I see a lot of real estate agents that get so bogged down into certain details. And I'm going, really, especially those of you guys who are drivers, if you are a high I or a high D personality, if you're a driver or you're a higher I personality, you need leverage, period. You do. You need as much leverage that you can afford to have, and you will slowly grow this, but you guys definitely 1000% need your leverage. You need someone else who's going to pay attention to details. You need someone else who is going to create the different systems. Your job is to go out and get more because that's what you do best. Go out and get more. Now, my higher C's and higher S personalities, you got to get out of your comfort zone and you have to go out and get it, okay? A lot of you guys will sit. I'm giving you this list, this high C right now that I'm saying this to, you guys are going to say, can we have that? Can I listen to the recording? You'll listen to the recording about 400 times before you act. I already know you guys, you have to just do, okay? Just do, just do it, man. All right, so they'll manage your CRM. They can write and launch your email campaigns. How about that? These email campaigns, you don't know what to say, who to do it. Your ISA is a person that can do that. They respond to your emails, your phone calls, and those text messages. If you have the right platform, they can respond right there within the platform and it goes right out and you can go back and follow up behind it and see that. Commission Zinc does do that for you guys if you don't know that. Um, they resolve possible concerns and any complaints. So you don't have to hear it. Take me off your list. Why do you keep texting me? Oh my gosh. I would never use an agent that I don't know that just reached out to me from Facebook. That's nice. Have a good day. Okay. They can be the ones that do that for you. Update the information for all your clients that you guys have spoken to, that they have spoken to, you have spoken to, the follow-ups, keeping it all up to date. It is a beautiful thing when you can have one person that you just send a text message over to. I had a phone call, I sent a text message, and I'm going about my next task throughout the day. You don't have to sit there in that lane and in that zone. 
Okay. And then they also keep your customers updated and they will nurture them with value. There's a difference. Okay. Value. All right. The last thing. So we talked about outbound calls, inbound opportunities, appointment setting, lead gen and nurturing, managing your CRM. And one of the last things is your customer service. This is your client's experience. You want from start to finish to create a client that is going to want to use you for a lifetime. This is where most agents drop the ball. This is why NAR says that it's, I don't remember the number, one of you NAR people tell me the percentage that doesn't use the same agent twice um, for, do you guys, any of you guys know that off the top of your head? Chandra, Emily, Rod. I think it's only like 12% use the same agent. I know twice. it's a really low number. I was going to say it's like 90% of the people don't go back to their same agent. And that is true. It's because you don't stay connected with them the right way. Okay. So when you're building out your business, I want for you to all think of your client's experience. You high C and high S personalities, you probably are already into that and you know exactly what to type out. You high I and high D, sit down, put it on your calendar and do it. <laughs> okay. Because you guys will, you guys will be like, oh yeah, I'll just tell Stephanie along the way. Ha, no, sit down and write it down exactly what it should be at every single thing. Okay. All right. Customer service. They can assist with the leads and their concerns or any inquiries that have. Okay. They can connect with other team members if necessary. If there's someone you can say, hey, have them talk to Bob about that. And then they're the person that gets them over to Bob. So you don't have to do that. Okay. Um, they can keep your team members accountable if you have a team on all leads. So as you're growing things out, or let's say you refer somebody to somewhere out in Montgomery, Alabama. All right. They can do the follow-up to check to see how that's done, how that's going. Keep you in the loop without you having to do that. Okay. There's so many duties for them. All right. So let's talk about a couple of more. Lead processing is another one of their duties. Categorize your leads, clean up your CRMs, um, use uh, dialogues and scripts that were given that you give to them. Always build a relationship. Just remember this, it's a value first type of thing. They can transfer your hot leads, the people who say I'm ready to go right now. They'll con direct connect them directly over to you so you can finish up that conversation so you're not losing uh, any clients. And then also don't forget, that they can also help with your social media. So you don't want your ISA to get too bogged down in social media, but they can also help with your social media. If you have it to where people um, DM you, a lot, they can get into there. If you want to use them on LinkedIn, when you're connecting with people on LinkedIn, give them that access to go ahead on and they can talk as if, almost really as if they were you. Some of y'all might've hit me up on LinkedIn and didn't realize you weren't even talking to Cherie. It happens a lot, <laughs> but I can see what's taking place. Okay. I can see what's taking place the consumer or your client doesn't know that once that person gets your cadence, okay? And then uh, on training, always be uh, learning better approaches. This is actually for you guys. Always be learning better approaches and teaching them that. Um, keep updating all your drips and your emails and they can stay on top of that too. Things happen, interest rates change, a lot of things happen just like that in our markets, right? And the consumers don't know that at all. Um, and practice some sort of a dialogue. Now, um, keep them in a dialogue, scripts, training, all of that. That's very good for them to constantly do. Role play should be 15 minutes max at the start of their shift. And it's just ring, ring, go. There you go. You want to be the client with your ISA. So you are the potential client and you always ask them, what are you calling on today? If you don't know, ask them if you already, or you're telling them what they're calling on today. That's what your role play is around. Role play every call day that they have. Every call day, it's their warm up. right? You want to make sure that the person who is setting your appointments is warmed up prior to, all right? Let's talk about some tech. All right, so here's where you got to spend some money outside of that person. You want to use something like a voiceover IP for them, a Ring Central, 
um, a grasshopper, um, something of that nature, uh, you want to use their voice over IP. Some people use Skype. I've seen people use Skype before, but you want to use your voice over IP service, um, your CRM. Whatever CRM it is that you use is the one that they use, okay? Whatever your CRM that you use is the one that they use. Um, so make sure that they understand how to do that. If it's something like a Commission Zinc, get into Commission Zinc. Let them go through all of the videos. You got to train them first, you guys, okay? It's not a, you sign them up and then they start calling the very next day. Doesn't work that way. Let them go through the videos. Let them understand the system. Talk about this. This is probably like a two-week process prior to you putting them on the phone if you're doing your training properly, all right? You guys should be doing some back and forth with this. Um, use something also as far as like your texting. Sync has it built in. That's great. If you use a different product for your CRM, just make sure that there's some texting that can be involved in there because text messages work. And also, if you can send a video text message, that increases it even higher. All right. Um, mini chats, chats and messengers, get them into that. If you have your Facebook business page, Put them as a moderator for your Facebook business page so that they can be the ones who are replying. If you don't have your IG as a business, convert your Instagram to your Instagram business. It's nothing but a couple of clicks. You now have an Instagram for business. You can run ads and it's just your name. So Cherie Benjamin can run ads on um, Instagram just as my name. It doesn't have to be a company. Okay. You can also do that with your Facebook. If you don't know, you can create your business page. That is your Facebook name, your name. So Chandra can have her name that's on there. And I wasn't going to say your last name because I always mess it up every time I say it because my French isn't good, except for I don't have to say my name, which is Shabby, but I always mess up your last name. So there you go. <laughs> um, and then one other thing is that there's ISA companies. So we've been finding, I've had a lot of people that have been asking me, where can I find one at? I like using onlinejobs.ph. That is overseas in the Philippines. You're going to have to, now that's a process because you're going to be listening to their dialect. You have to hear whether or not they sound like they're overseas. Um, you have to listen a lot to what's their knowledge. One of the words is very different. They don't use the word real estate. They use the word BPO. So you're looking for someone who is, if any of you guys are looking overseas, understand a real estate is a BPO to them, okay? So when you're posting these things, you can go on and it's it's not expensive for you to post an online a job ad for them. Um, and you'll find them fairly inexpensive there. I would say they're between um, 800 bucks or so to, heck, $2,000. But you get what you pay for, so... <laughs> Those are the ranges I've been seeing. It's from $800 for a person who's doing that up to um, $2,000. And the $2,000 person, I was like, what all you giving me? Because <laughs> that ain't enough. Okay. So those are some sources that you guys can use. Any questions that you guys have? Do any of you all have any questions? Really quick, I just want to say for the people that think that maybe they're not ready for an ISA, there is an app called Toggle. Um, that you guys can use and it will track, it will keep track of the time that you are spending on tasks. So my project for all of you that feel like you don't, you cannot afford this, I want you to download this app. And when you start with a new client, I want you to record every single thing that you do with them. Every time you talk to them, every time you text them, every time you do something related to that client. At the end of it, I want you to see how much time you put into that. Whatever that commission was at the end of it, I want you to divide it by those hours that you worked and you will see how much time and what your hourly wage was for that transaction. Now, if your hourly wage was, let's say $50 a, an hour and you could hire somebody at $10 an hour, you just saved yourself $40. So for those that are not yet there, I want you to start here because it is doable. It is totally, you need to do it. It's not doable. You need to do it. And I want you to become a believer that you can do it. So start here so you can see what you're actually making per hour and how much money you could save. Yeah. And before you cut off that, leave yeah. that screen up. One of the things you guys heard me talk about a higher D personality, a higher I personality. This is something that you guys aren't going to want to do. 
My S's and my C's are like, ooh, you probably already downloaded the app, okay? Um, my high D's and high I's. Now, high D's, y'all are all about the money, so you might do it, <laughs> but my high I's are like, oh my God, that sounds like something I have to track. It's putting me in a box. I don't have time. That's the reason why you have to actually do it. This is the reason why you have to do it. Do it now, right? Do it now. We're happy February, but we're the second month of the year now. Do it now so that you can go through this process. I was talking with a, an agent um, who is considering VPC. She's been around for a while. I've known her for a while. And I talked to her and I said, you know what? If I have somebody who is, I'm like, I don't really want to work with half the people. Like I turn around people all the time that call me. Like, I'm like, yeah, what? No, 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 no. All the time. And people are always like, what? Why would you do that? And I'm like, yeah, okay, I understand. Am I the lowest? I don't think we have anything sub three. 350 out here, 350 is a shack in Vegas, okay? And I'm going, okay, if I times it by three, I mean, that's a good amount of a check that people are like, you won't go and work with them for that? No, because I know how what my dollar per hour is and you are not going to meet my dollar per hour. If I talk to you and every time I talk to you, it's 45 minutes, I have a client right now who was referred to me and I'm like, <laughs> You are creeping on this dollar per hour, lady, just so you know, because every time I ask you a quick question, what day are you coming in town this day? What day are you leaving? That turns into a 45 minute conversation. Uh -uh. I won't do it. I'll even answer her. She will call me. I send you a text message and she calls me. I don't answer the phone call and I could be sitting on the couch watching Netflix. I won't answer the phone call. Reply to my text message. There you go. Because my dollar per hour on you is already starting to go down. If I spend 45 minutes on the phone with you now, I'm going to spend another 45 minutes later. All of this, I'm not working in this zone. Okay. That's not me. I'm not working in this zone. There's no difference between me and you. And I'm not telling you to turn away money, but I want you to operate your business as such. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of agents are doing nothing but chasing behind every little client. And these aren't even real clients. They're not. You think that when you hear people say who have been around in this business for a while and they say, oh, wait, you, you haven't been pre-qualified. Oh, you did get pre-qualified. I'm not working with Navy Federal. You will go to my person. If you don't go to my person, I'm not working with you. You will use my title company or you're going to use my closing attorney. If you don't want to use them, I'm not working with you. Like, it's very simple. You're either following along this process or I'm not working with you. Go on to someone else because you're going to waste their time and you're going to make their dollar per hour 20 bucks, not mine. I'll just move on to the next person, okay? In order to have that mindset though, you have to have multiple clients coming in behind each other. That's a, it's a process for you to get to there. So I want you to act as if from the start. I don't care if you're brand new, I want you to act as if. One thing that I've always done is I have always, any type of business I've been in, I go to whoever is the top producer. I watch them like a hawk. I'm not in a competition with them, although I probably am going to try to beat you at some point because that's just me. I am competitive, <laughs> just so you know. But I go to the top producer. I watch what they do. I watch what they send out to their clients. I'm watching their tonality when they're on the phone with them. This is why what Angela is throwing is a big deal for you to be at. I would sit in the middle of the room and listen and barely even make phone calls, but I'm listening and I'm writing stuff down. I'm listening and I'm writing it down. I'm just like, okay, I need to know this stuff. I know I need to know this stuff because that person is not successful for just picking it out. Success leaves clues, right? That's what I want to find out. I want to find all of the clues to your success so that I can implement parts of those things in my business. So I'll take a little bit from here and 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 create what my business looks like, all right? 
I tell you guys all the time, you're the CEO of your business. I want you to run it as such. Be kind to everyone. We hear about it when you're not kind to people. If you're not kind when you're in the office, if you're not kind to the, to the vendors, if you're not kind to the closing attorneys, oh, I'm just telling y'all, we get them just like that. They come to us. And that's not the type of light that you ever want your name in. So when you find an agent on the other side who's all high and low and emotional, let them stay in that lane. You don't join them, okay? Don't join that circus. What's it called? Not my monkey, not my circus. Don't join those circuses. Let them just ring your phone and you can reply with a text message, <laughs> okay? That's what I have for you guys. It's a little bit of future casting for some of you, but I know that some of you, there's others of you guys who are in this mix right now and you guys are working on finding your ISAs, okay? So that's why I wanted to go over this with you just to give you guys a little bit of, a little bit of a higher level as to when we're looking for ISAs, what are these duties, what are the things we have them doing, and then some of the sources that you guys can go to in order to find them, all right? That's a big key for your business. ISAs are a tough thing to tackle. So if you're looking at going down this road, pack your patience because it's very tough to find a good one and to find one that's kind of sticks around and then you'll start adding more. A friend of mine just sold his company for... Um, down in Florida, just found out he sold his company last week for a little over a hundred million dollars, 300 ISAs. That's a lot of, and he's a team. He's just a team. He's one big, huge team, 300 ISAs. A hundred million dollars is also nice. So this is your business, structure it as such. You have something that is bankable. I want you to understand that. Don't be just like everyone else out there just chasing and you don't structure your business properly, okay? All right. That's all I got, Emily. All right. Bye, guys. Hope you have a great week. Um, work on these things. We will have the recording um, up at some point. We'll share it in the Village Voice. Um, but please, you can't afford to not do these things that we talked about today. So um, get it together. Bye, guys. Don't forget to email me. Making okay. a decision very soon. Send them over. We got a couple of emails that came through. Email me. Shoot your shot, people. Shoot your shot. That's all I'm telling you is shoot your shot. All right? You miss all the shots you don't take. Boom. Bye. Bye, everybody. We'll get Jillian.